Hey drummers, hope you're well. This is the Zephyr song, Red Hot Chili Peppers, of course. Shout out to superstar channel member Ray, who's working on this. something like that so like I say shout out to superstar channel member Ray who's working on that one a few things to say about this the main thing is I'm playing a little bit more than Chad Smith physically played to my ears on the original the reason for that is this song has got a dirty big electronic drum loop that runs all the way through it going uh, literally through the whole song to my ears and what do you do so you could either I guess you could, if you were playing it live, you could either have that loop running, couldn't you? And you could have a metronome click in your ears. That would be one way of doing it. I'm working on the assumption here that we're just playing live. Like say that you were just doing it as a, a four piece or whatever, and you're just playing the drums live. I would do what I did there. So I'm playing a little, like is amalgam, is that the word? Of the, of the, um, the loop plus the drum part that was played. So at the beginning, I literally just, played the loop when Chad Smith isn't doing anything. I just played the, the loop with, between the kick and the snare. 
And then when the hi-hat comes in, that's him just playing hi-hat as far as I can hear with the loop running underneath. There I played. To kind of do both. And then uh, when the verse dropped in, even when he's not playing the bass drum, I, I played it because it's there on the loop. So I think to the listener, to the audience member, listening to a drummer playing this whole thing live, you'd need that boom, boom, ba, boom, boom, ba. Also in the choruses, uh, I think, as far as, that, again, I can hear, I looked at a couple of like notations of this and it seems to be consistent with that. I think Chad Smith is just playing. <laughs> on the bass drum, but again, the loop is in there. So boom, ba, ba, boom, boom, ba. So my musical decision, you could change this if you wanted, was to play the bass drum from the loop all the way through. In true Chad Smith style, he's playing the hi-hat with his left foot. Every time he goes to the ride cymbal, he's playing the hi-hat on eighth notes. One and two and three and four and... Which is what I think of it as well. On the ride cymbal, I chose to hit the bell of the cymbal, like on the quarter note. One and two and three and four and... Because it seemed like I looked around at a couple of live versions and he was doing that. I do appreciate that on the original it doesn't sound like he's doing that so much. It sounds like he's hitting the main body of the symbol, the bow of the symbol. But I thought the ride bell was really cool, so I went with it. Again, that's your musical choice if you're playing this one. But key point, if you can possibly do it, eighth notes with his left foot along with the eighth notes with the right stick or ride symbol stick. One and two. Absolutely classic Chad Smith sound as far as I can hear. Every, it's every time he goes to the ride cymbal, he does that. Uh, that covers most of it. I can only repeat, that's what I would do if I was playing this live and the loop wasn't running. I'd play all that stuff. Uh, I'm not playing exactly note for note either. I'm just playing what I would play on the song to get close to the feel of it. And uh, hopefully that's helpful for anybody learning it. Shout out to Ray. Any questions, give us a shout. See you soon.